Hello boys and girls and welcome along once more to Cairn Hill Cabin, County Cabin in Ireland on a lovely, lovely sunny spring day. So I hope it's nice wherever you are. And my name is Margaret McKenna and today we're going to paint and draw a raven, which of course is part of the crow family. And there's lots of crows around at the moment. They're all building their nests. I was looking at them yesterday. Busy, busy, busy. Um, lovely day to be at it too. And um, this came, of course, as one of your suggestions, as always. So um, I have a load of suggestions here that you in my little tub. I can barely just see them there. And at the end of the class, I'll pick out another one for the next time, which will be on Saturday. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do the raven. But also, I want you to please send in any suggestions you have to me. If you put them here in the comments, or if you put them in afterwards, I might see them straight away, but I might see them. Um, I hope now you can see this okay because I'm using a different type of Facebook Live um, camera thing and um, I hope it's working okay. I think it is. Um, please let me know if you can't hear me or whatever, but I, I, I think it's working okay. Okay, so how do we start this? Well, first of all, we're going to need a pencil. And remember what I always say to you, I always say to use your pencil really, really light. Wait, let your hand go really light like that, okay? Really light. And what you do then is you hold it nice and light because if you hold it really tight, it means that it's be like writing and it's really hard to make it to rub out your lines. But because these very dark color the raven is, it means that you can actually get away with your lines being a bit darker than usual, which is really handy. So because we're going over the, the going over it in a dark color, but I'm going to draw very dark anyway so that you can see it, see it. So if you can let me know if anyone is there, if you can let me know. Um, um, you can see it or not because I'm I'm not really sure what the situation is here um, and same with with this and um, if people can see it or not um, it'd be great to get a thumbs up so okay so what we're going to do to start with is we're going to start with a shape for the head and the neck okay so I'm going to do it really dark remember you do it lighter but it you know, get away with it a bit better so I'm going to do a kind of a sort of big egg shape and you see the way I'm putting it at that angle see that I'm not putting it straight it's going that way see that can you do that Okay. Oh, good. That's great. Thanks, Carol. I just want to make sure because um, I'm doing live producer this time and it's slightly different than before. And I wasn't I had a bit of trouble trying to get it going. <laughs> Thanks a million. Okay. So we're doing like an egg shape like that. Okay. There's lots of eggs in these drawings. We're going to do another shape just inside that, just like that. And that'll just give you an idea of where the head is inside it. So you can get a little bit of it. Okay. Now we just do it nice and light to start with this bit here just the, the rest of it doesn't matter too much because i say it's going to be very dark it's sort of dark colors now we're going to do a big another big egg, egg shape like that a little bit flat on this side see it's a little flat there and a little roundier on that side see that's great thanks karen hi faith okay so it's going to be just like that and the reason I put the little head in there, that egg is not that important. It's just really to make you show where the, where the head is on it, okay? So we're going to put the tail on next. And the tail is kind of like, kind of goes a little bit skinnier down at the end like that. So it starts out fat and ends in skinny. You can kind of give it a sort of a raggy kind of shape on the end, like the feathers. Because the feathers are also sort of out a little bit. Now we're going to do, and we're going to just join these little lines here. Remember when we did this before? So it just means that we don't have two eggs sitting on top of each other. Okay. So we're going to have a little one here, a little one there like that. Hi, Lila. I would love to see you paint a ladybug. Oh, okay. I'll put that in the, in, in the suggestion. That would be a lovely one because you can do it on a big flower or something like that. That'd be really nice. Um, okay. So we're good. now what we can do is we can rub out those lines. I'm looking for my, the rubber now. That's a good, oh, here's one here. I don't know where my normal one's gone to. I was looking for a while, got one on the end of the pencil. So I'm going to take these ones out. It doesn't matter if you leave them in too much, really, because the simple reason that this is going to be all dark. So you won't really see them anyway. So that just, and you don't, you won't see this one here either. Now. Okay, so we'll put another one and take another one out later on. So it doesn't matter if you see them too much because I say it's going to be all dark. Now, we're going to put a beak on them. They're big, they're very big, strong beaks, these birds have, very strong beaks. So we're going to put a big beak on like that at first, okay? 
but it's going to, it comes in on his face a bit. It doesn't just stick at the end of the face, so it comes in like that. There, and now we can rub out that little, this little line here, just that little line there. Now, that's that little line. Remember, you can look back at this later on if you don't, if you miss something on it, okay? And I'm going to put them up on YouTube too. Now, I'm going to put a line, it's a little bit, it's not halfway up, it's a little down near the bottom because he's got a bigger bill on the top. The top of his beak is much, is a bigger, is bigger than the bottom part, okay? Now, and now we have to put in his eye. And his eye just comes in. It comes in roughly where the, the little spike of, the, the, um, of the, the beak comes in. And it just comes back a little bit. And it's just like a little, little lemon shape, kind of, like that. I might bring that beak up a bit more, actually. See, I make mistakes, too, sometimes. Yeah, we all do. But I can just leave it like that, okay? Now, we're going to do a wing on him. So the wing comes out. I'm just going to leave it from about here. And we're just going to go like that. And just some raggedy bits like that. So it looks kind of, because they're quite feathery kind of, if you see them, and they flutter the feathers up a little bit. So that's nearly him drawn. Don't mind this line here. We can rub that down a little bit, but just keep it there a little bit, because you might put a little shadow around the front. You can probably get away without that line at all, actually. It's different ways you can do it. Okay, now we're going to put in his legs. So he's got two legs, obviously. He's got one here. And one here, like that. Now we won't just put in his feet just yet, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to do the, he's standing on a chimney pot. So we're going to put a big little long skinny rectangle like this. See? Just like that. That's the, ch the chimney, the, the very top of the chimney, okay? And then we're going to put two lines down like each side, like that. And then we're going to do a big, I did I put it all up already, but no, I didn't. Big one like that, a big skinny one like that. That's like the same again, except much bigger really. And then we're going to put two down like that. Okay. So now we're going to come up and we're just going to give a pointy bit up and down like that. That's the side of a roof there, for the side of the next house. So we probably have other ones except the smoke coming out of that chimney, so they mightn't actually want to see it. I'll just put it in here where you can see that a bit better. See the smoke coming out of that chimney? So, And I'm just going to put two layers of that. I'm just going to give another little one because it's the side of the roof. It's just like you're seeing the side of the roof there like that. It's a bit spikier than this one or pointier. That doesn't matter. Now, we're going to put in the, the a little rectangle for a window. That's a little window on the gable end of the house. There's lots of rectangles in this picture. We've got lots of eggs and rectangles, see, and then one pointy bit here. So it's either eggs or rectangles. And then we're going to come up and we're going to do this is the chimney looking at the side of the house. Okay, like that. And it just goes over across way across over the over the top of the the top of the um the roof. And a little another little skinny one just like that. And then we've got two triangle rectangles up on top here like this. One and two. And I'm going to put one, two little lines on it, just like for the top of the to the top of the um the chimney. And then we're going to come back and do our our our, our bricks. Now what I did was you can do it doesn't matter. I, I might spend on how many much space you have. I did one like that. You can do, don't make them too small, because you make them too small, it'll mean you have to do too, an awful lot of colouring in. So you make, to make them fairly big like that, one other one like that. And then you've got another one. You see there's a space between them, because that's where they put that stuff, that white stuff, the cuts called the grout kind of stuff that they put between. It's not grout thing, the pointing, they call it actually, really fancy. Um, uh, and they, um, they put it between the bricks like that. So the bricks don't actually join up together quite. And then this one, now this one doesn't come quite as far as that one. See, just comes a little bit to this side. And then you can do another big long one in here. Keep your little space between them. So make them fairly big. And then we have another one here. And they don't end on, underneath each other. See how they're all not quite underneath each other. If you're building a wall, you can't have them underneath, you see. And then we're going to have another one here. 
and have a little space here between that and we'll do another one there and then we do another one over here we'll bring it to a little space so there we have our little brick solder and that's really all our drawing in this actually and now we're going to paint so i used uh, poster paints which is like these ones here um but you can use acrylics you can use crayons you could really use any kind of colors for this one really um paints are handy because they're easier to easy to go uh, work quickly with and use a lot of space uh, use big areas at one time so what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of blue and a little bit of white together just a little bit of blue and white and i'm going to mix a kind of a sky color and this is fairly straightforward really this is there's not too much in this just i might even put more white in that that's a bit too blue but it just yeah any more um no that's okay now i just want to get some more white because we're running and mind you i have to really i have to really um pull, i'm getting to the end of my white here so it's getting hard to get out of the uh -huh, here we have there's more in it it's just stuck at the bottom so that's a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance at times okay so i'm just going to continue with the white here but a green went in there for some reason i don't know why because I didn't have any green. And the great thing about it is, because it's dark coloured, it doesn't really matter. The only part you have to be kind of careful with is the beak, where it's kind of lighter. Because normally, you know the way I did other classes and I put, I cut out the birds and stuck them on? That was because they were quite, very much lighter in colour. And I was afraid to go in on top of them. But you see, look, I can go, don't mind if you go in on top of them. Don't draw them round them. Go right, don't be afraid to go right in on top of them a little bit. Just watch the beak, that's all. But even then, see like that, look. So you go right behind. Don't mind if you hit hit a little bit, and allow a little different shades to go through the sky because that makes it quite nice. It gives it look like this um a little bit of um that kind of high cloud, a bit like today maybe it's that kind of high light high cloud. Now, so we just go across like that. And don't forget, you can join the Cairn Hill uh, Children's Page and put up some of your work after. And in fact, I'd love to see if you're doing any other artwork as well. It doesn't have to be just these ones you can put up. Put up anything, anything you're drawing or painting. See the way I'm letting it go in on top of the bird? Don't, see? You can, that doesn't matter about going in on top of the bird. I'll go right across where his legs are for now. Don't worry about that. Because otherwise it gets very hard. And you can see now it looks like the sky is going behind him, you see. If you try and go around the bird, it won't make it, as, it, won't make it look as if he's going behind him. So don't be afraid to go in on top of the bird a little bit. Don't panic at all. Even these bits here, don't be afraid if you tip against the chimney a bit. That doesn't matter because we'll be going a different colour, a definitely different colour, and it'll, it'll go on top of it. Now, see how we're letting it go in behind, in between them there, like that, all the way down like that. And say, remember, you can always look back at this later on. So if you miss any bits, don't worry, don't panic at all. I'm going to put a bit down here as well, like that. Okay. And there we have our sky roughly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paint our bird. So for our bird, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mix of um, oh, a chameleon or a dragon. Ooh, like that, like the dragon particularly. That sounds really exciting actually. Dragon would be a brilliant one to do. Um, I could do lots with a dragon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a blue and a black. Okay. Like that and of course because there's a little bluey shine off of sometimes off a raven or a crow you see so see the way i'm doing that and you just drag the colors down like that don't go crossways go down because it makes it even at this time and little see the way i'm doing little bits like that don't make it too big long ones because it makes it look feathery even if you do just little bits so we're going to blue and black so it's like a dark bluey color we'll put black on top of this in a minute but we're going to start with the blue and the black like this i hear the crows out there now actually the same family ravens and crows that they're all the type of crow family now ooh, that's a bit too bluey that's okay see it went very blue that's fine don't mind that just drag it in and i'm going to bring it right up into the head around his eye doesn't matter if you hit the eye for now doesn't matter at all if you hit the eye don't worry about that at all just go around the beak it's the only bit we're careful of
Now, and there we have them all in this bluey backy shade, okay? And you see it's not exactly the same colour the whole time, and that's fine. You don't have to get a perfect mix on it. In fact, it makes it look nicer in a way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of it darker, so because it looks it's more shadow. So I'm going to put go straight in with my black, right? And I'm going to put the black on his under his belly because it's darker down there. See like that, and under the tail, you see under the tail like that, under his belly, under his tail, and a few little flicky bits through the wing like that. Little flicks, call them flicky bits, like flick, flick, flick. Get your little, just little brush, and you go flick, flick, and then we're going to put a little bit under his, on this side, under his chin, and the top just over his beak. Like that, okay? Now, do you know what we're going to put on now? You might think it's strange, but we're going to put on a bit of white on him because there's going to be a shine on his coat as well. Now, when I say white, I'm not going to put a big load of white. I'm going to get a little bit of white, like that, and I'm going to carefully take it off the edge, just like the way you're painting a wall. When you paint a wall out of a tin, you don't slop on the paint on a wall. You take it off the edge of the tin. It's the same with this. You just do it like that. It's just like paint. Little bit, so there's only a little bit on it, see, and that's and then we do it, you just teeny bit, just put a little bit like that, just like really quiet, like little tiny bits, see, like that. Tip that along, so there's not too much white, you see, it's oh, it's freezing there, I'm frozen. Um, so there, look, little flicks like that. See? And you see how that's it's not it's not really strong white. So you nearly take off all the white. You put your white on your brush and then you take nearly take it all off before you put it on the on the canvas. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to just leave that for a few. Oh, we can put a little bit of grey in his beak. A bit a bit of black and white on his beak. I think I put a bit of that in his eye as well, actually. So we put a bit of black and white in it. Oh, I went a bit too black, didn't it now? Big lump of black came off there. Here's me telling you not to put lumps on, I put the same big lumps on. So we'll just put a little bit of grey here. So that's black and white, like that. I'll put a little bit in his eye as well, okay? And we'll put a little bit on his legs as well, actually. Don't worry about his feet. We'll put the feet in afterwards. So here we go. So now we've got grey on his beak, which is black and white. And then we've got his blue. We started, remember, with the bluey black on his body. And then we put the black. And then we put a very tiny bit of white on it as well. So now we're going to colour in the houses and the houses, even. And the um and the chimneys and all. Okay, so start with I'm gonna just get a yellow for the fat back for the fire house. Oh actually, do you know what? While I have that dark colour on my brush, I'm going to put in the window because you know what? I want that to dry for a minute. So I'm gonna put this dark window in here first. So that's a bit of bit of blue and our black like we did for our bird. So just blue and black in that window to start with, okay? We'll let that dry a bit because that'll be drying away while we're while we're just um, doing the rest, okay? And we can actually, there's lots of, actually realize there's other bits too, look, a little bit down here, just down there like that. Now, so that's our, I think that's all our bluey blacky bits at the moment. Right, lovely. Now, so we've got blue black in here in the window and a little bit of blue black going down there as well. And now we're going to get our other colors. So what we're going to just start with is we're going to get the yellow for our um, but you can make any colour. Now, I mean, I put a yellow house, but you could put any colour house you want to do. I'm just putting yellow, so you just, you work away. This is your house, so you decide what colour you want to put it. It doesn't have to be yellow. You could have a pink with blue spots, if you want. And you see the way I hold the brush? There's my rubber. There's a rubber over there. Here it is. Sneaking on me, painting the yellow I was. Now, so there we go. Like that. Oop, bit of black up into it. Let's push that out. Now, there we go. Now that's my yellow bit on the house, or whatever colour you want to paint it. I'm going to leave these white, the top of this white, and I'm going to put a bit of brown and yellow in here. So I'm going to mix a bit of brown and a yellow for the chimney pot. Sort of a yellowy brown colour. Kind of like it gives it a kind of what they call those like what they call terracotta kind of colour almost. So we're going to put that across in here like this. I might add a bit of red to that actually, make it more reddishy. So I might put make it red, yellow, and a bit of brown together. 
it gives it yeah that's nice so that gives it and more we can put that up here as well so they call it like those pots you get a bit like the pots you get for putting plants in sometimes you know those called terracotta they're called color something like that so you put a bit of red and yellow and brown together and you get that kind of color sometimes you get a brown that has that color already it depends on the color brown you're using now there's a bit there and then we're going to put a little bit up here at these two chimneys in the distance as well see like that okay and you know what i'm going to put a few of these bricks in something similar color I might put a bit more yellow in it this time but again these are your bricks so you can have a bit of play around with these colors you know you don't you could have nice colors in this that you know you can make it more yellower or more orangey or something add a bit more yellow into it, less brown into it so more of the yellowy reddy color It's a bit more orange kind of in other words and i'm going to bring these down here you can do whatever ones you want now you can do it you, you, you can play you don't have to do exactly the same colors in the same places as me you know this is your house so i'd like to see it lots of different ways of doing it if you want to do the same that's fine too okay and then we're going to come in with the other colors on the chimney which is i'm going to put a, I, just, I just put a brown on this bit just a pure brown on these ones because like the sort of brown bricks So I'm going to put this over here. Any of the other bricks, so you just and leave the white in between them. I'm just put one here. I say you can catch up on this afterwards if you don't can't do it. Get it all done now, and I'll put up on YouTube as well for you to see later on. So I will. Okay, there we go now. And then I put another color up here. I think I used a bit of red with that, so I just put a bit of brown and red together actually. So it was like a dark reddishy brown color. But again, and I, I just left, yeah, just like that. There, like that. You can use whatever color you want. Oh, it's a bit black, didn't it? So. Now, now before I do what I want to do is I'm going to come back with a little bit of white color, okay? Just if you get it, if you have a small brush, if you a small brush, I'm going to use a little brush, and I'm just going to few a few little little flickers, little tiny little. Don't put too much on your brush. Remember, I said about the white. You put it in the white, and you take it off like that, so you only have a little bit of white on the brush, because we don't want a, a white crow. It certainly stand out anyway. And then you come back and you just put little flicks like that. Look. See like that? So it just gives them just gives it a nice feathery, like as if the, the sunlight is catching his feathers, okay? And now what we're going to do, really the last oh yes, we've got to put the white one. We have the white on the brush. Now you can put a little bit more white in the brush now. And we're going to put a white like a cross X shape down, or not an X, a kind of cross shape down the window. Like that. We're going to one there, and we'll come across here. And this is our window frame. Like that. And you could go around the body, you could put a window a bit on the bottom if you want, like that as well. Like that. You can go all around the window if you want. I leave it like, you know, you can go right around the window. You can put a bit here. You might have to wait till it dries a bit more, but you could, it might be fine. And you can put a bit down here. This could go right around the window and a little cross in the middle if you want, like that. Now, what we have to do is read the last and a little, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Put a little dab in his eye, put a bit of white in his eye. Like that. I make it a nice little dog in his eye. Because the face looks like seen, see, he's looking at you. Now, I want to get my black now. If you have a black pencil crayon, a good strong one, or a black marker would be good. Now, you might have to wait for a minute for this to dry. Um, and I'm just going to pair this a bit better. Oh, that's not the one. Sorry, the wrong one I'm using. That's the one. There we go. This should do it. And oh, first of all, I'm going to put in my birds. So how do we do our birds? So our birds in the sky flying along, our fellow crows, his friends, I'll go just like that. We can put one at a different angle, just like that. Don't make them too up and like that. Little, just nice and gentle, see? I'm going to do another one over here. Because they often get lots of crows together. And we're going to put a bit of our smoke coming out of our chimney. So just do a little squiggle, 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 like that. And then we start going around our crow. So this part, we just this bit's easy. Just go around the crow like this. 
you just emphasize the lines on it. I'll show you what I want you to do then in a minute with this, with this, with this M. So go right around this line, the lines of them, okay? Right around, all the way around, all the way down like that. And then we can do a little bit of squiggly bit at the bottom. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. And we can do his, his, his legs. I'll come back to the bit on his body in a minute. And we can go around the chimney. Like that. And we can put his feet. Like that. Come down here on each side. And come across. And we can go down around our we can go around our bricks. If we feel we need to, we might need to because we could because we didn't do them very strong at the beginning, so. I did because I had to, so, but you mightn't have. Just go around them like that. And then we're going to go around our other little chimneys in the background. So just literally just go over what you did. You don't have to do this in all kinds of pictures. I think the last time we did it with the owl because it was a different type of picture and you didn't need to have any hard lines around, except for the tree, just the, tree, um, the lines of the tree against the, um, the moonlight. But we didn't to go around the owl or anything. We didn't have to do that kind of a picture. They vary a lot. Okay, so we're going to go down this side. And we're going to go down this side like that. We'll go down here. And then we're going to go around our outside of our window just. Now, on the bird himself, we're going to go around his eye. Oh, I'm just going to take a bit of that off because some of my painting, the paint is coming off. It's a bit too wet. So do, don't have to rush and try and get it done. You can let it dry a little bit and then come back to it. But at least just to show you what to do. Okay. Because this bit kind of, I think, makes a difference to it. Go a little bit around his eye like that. See? And a little, you can just colour a little bit inside the eye like that. A little, oh, a little bit inside. Now what I'm going to do, and I might show this up close actually. So I'm going to just make sure that doesn't fall off of me. Oh. That's a little bit. Now we're going to draw. Do you remember where we did our wing? We're going to do the get a line like that. You can do it really rough, and then just squiggle it along like that, and then squiggle little bits of like feathers. And you don't have to make them too much in exact rows. Don't make the rows all the same. Make them all a different. Not they're not exactly the same. Sometimes you might have four squiggles. Sometimes you might have three squiggles. Sometimes only two squiggles. And you can do a few here like this. And little smaller ones as you go up, they can be nearly like lines, little baby ones, because it's the hair or the feathers on the face are much shorter than the ones around the body where they're fluffier. They're the ones he needs to fly and everything, and, and keep him warm on his tummy. So we're going to just do little flickers, see like that? Little little squiggles, like little Ws, lots, lots of little Ws. And you could do some down his tail as well, longer ones down his tail. Like, that just makes it look quite and you just see it when you look at it, it gives a nice feathery feel to the picture it makes it look like real feathers so i think that's it now i think yep i think that's the whole lot done um yeah so i hope you enjoyed doing that today and or and finish it off maybe in a little while if you didn't get it all done now and say so you can look back at any bits you want and of course now what i want to do is i want to put in a few little things into my box here before we finish up hold on a minute now See what we're going to do next time. This piece of paper now. I'm going to throw out bits of paper. Oh, here's bits here. I throw out bits of piece of paper and I keep them out. Should have left them up here. There we go. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. You had a suggestion of a ladybird. That's it, a ladybird. Ladybird or ladybug. We used to always call them ladybirds. Now they seem to be called ladybugs. And here we go. They've changed their name, Chameleon and a Dragon. And a Dragon. A dragon. Okay, so I'm going to put all them into the, into my little tub now, right? And we're going to, if there's any more suggestions, I say please let me know because I will, um, I'm going to just, this is the tub, just going to kick it around here. I'm going to clear what I'm going to get. Okay, here we go. I have one in my hand. So what do you think it's going to be? Have a guess. Oh, it's a black Labrador like, oops, in a garden. Now, what I'm going to do with that is, because somebody asked me to do a flower garden a while ago. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the black Labrador in the flower garden because I thought wouldn't it be lovely to put the two of them together. So that's what I'm going to do. I was waiting to get this one. So I'm going to have a little black Labrador, a black Labrador amongst all the flowers. And I think that would be just lovely. And that could be quite a fun one to do because the flowers would be really fun. So that's for Saturday. So um, thanks again for looking in and please share the video because I say um, I'm doing them all for you to keep you busy at this time. And as I say, normally on a Saturday, I'd be doing a class on a Saturday here, but um, I'll be doing it here, but I won't be with, unfortunately, I'll have no, the children won't be here, but hopefully they'll be looking in. So, um, yeah, please come along and share, share, share if you can to let others know about them. Okay, thanks a million and see you again. Bye now.